Hello YouTube. So I was walking at the nearby park, like always. Perfect for running or walking because it has a track around the lake. They call it a lake, but I think it's more like a pond to me. Anyway, I was walking and this grandpa was walking towards me. There were also a young mom and daughter a little ahead of me. Grandpa said hi to them. So I was preparing to say hi to him. He didn't even look at me. Damn it. But that's okay. On the way home, hot mom walking with a dog said hi to me. Two of them. Yes. This is sliced rib. It's called cow bee. Get the meat that's thinly sliced. If it's too thick, the sauce won't marinate enough and it's going to take a while to cook. Make sure to wash the rib, especially where the bones are. Some pieces of bones are still there when the butcher sliced the meat. Soak it with water for about an hour. Letting the blood out makes it less of a bloody smell after cooking. It also absorbs more sauce for marinating. It tastes much better. Now it's time to make the sauce. This is based on about 25 sliced ribs, one and a half cup of soy sauce, a little less than one cup of water, one cup of sugar, six teaspoons of sesame oil, garlic, ginger, pear if you have it, if not, apples will do, two onions, and three teaspoons of black pepper. Puree it using blender. Transfer the pureed stuff into a large bowl and mix it all with the sauce. Make sure that the sauce will get in between the ribs and fully cover the meat. Cover the pan and put it in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours. The next day, Make sure to scrape off the sauce because it will get burned. Leave the meat for outside for about 30 minutes before you cook.
looks great, right? I know it's damn good. Thank you for watching. If you like my teriyaki channel, please subscribe.